Mum's got your beanie. Look, see, this will keep your head warm. I'm the first Australian to put on the Celtics jersey. There we go. I was made aware of that not long before I actually stepped on the courts. Boston is such a great city. As soon as we came here, we fell in love with it. You know, Boston's a sporting town, and from the first moment that I landed here, people in the airport were coming up to me and saying, G'day. Well, probably not G'day, but they were um, coming up and saying hi. And ever since then, any time I walk around the street, you know, people stop and tell me how much they love what the team's doing and uh, excited that I'm a part of it. Aaron Baines debuted in the NBA with the San Antonio Spurs, where he played three seasons, winning a title in 2014. From there, he moved to the Pistons under coach Stan Van Gundy for another two years. In July of 2017, he signed as a free agent with the Boston Celtics. When I signed here, I knew the history that they do have. It's the, it's the best history in the league. And you want to come in and contribute to try and take them back to that same level. Is there any Australian restaurants? Like, have you be able to check out? Yeah, them? there are. There's um, one called the KO um, Pie. You know, coffee and pie. So um, you know, they do, do do the meat pies down there. Um, there's, there's definitely that's something that we enjoy. You know, it's what what Aussie doesn't like a meat pie now and then. Is that one thing you miss about Australian cuisine? Meat pies? <laughs> I wouldn't say I wouldn't say you exactly miss it. I mean, you you do miss a dirty meat pie here, or when you when you go out to the footy or something. But um, you know, it's it's one of those things that there's there's so many other good food items around as well that um, I, I don't try and miss too much food. There's a lot of Australians around here I've found um, and so it's always pretty cool but um, beyond that you know there's just a lot of sports fans in Boston which is even cooler. What's going on? What's up? Oh give us some down. Give us some down. <laughs> I'm thankful to be here in Boston. I'm thankful to come out here and see everyone so excited to learn, yeah! That's why I have a college degree. I, I knew I wanted to get that background so that, um, you know, if, if something doesn't work out in, the, in sport, you know, I always have a fallback plan. Aaron's, you know, uh, he's personality plus, you know, wherever he goes, he puts smiles on people's faces and he, he just jumps in, like he embraces it. He, you know, for, for a guy who's you know, he's six foot ten, you know, he, he's so comfortable, right? He just walks in and he says, he engages with every person, every kid, every teacher. Uh, and you can tell he likes to do it. We're lucky he's a special guy. How tall are you? Six ten. How tall are you? I just really want to put my best foot forward and help the team in whatever way I can every time I step out with that jersey on. The balance of power in the NBA's Eastern Conference was rocked when Boston traded for Kyrie Irving to give them the star power needed to take on LeBron and the Cavs. In spite of losing Gordon Hayward to injury, the team reeled off a 16-game winning streak and led by Brad Stevens is positioned to go deep into the playoffs. He's got such great players around me, you know, that's first and foremost, we have such great creators offensively that if I try and set a screen and just get into good spacing, you know, they, they make things happen. You got quite a performance from Aaron Baines. Can you describe how he influenced this win? Uh, you know, understanding that Baines is a bruiser down low, we got to feed him the ball when he's got those duckings and those little guards. Everyone's willing to sacrifice. It has to be five-man defense. It's not one-on-one -on -one when we're out there. We're playing. There's such great players in the league. You know, every time we play someone, there's there's a guy that could demand a double team, but you, you really can't play like that because all five guys out there are so great. Another stop. Get another stop. Let's go. During his three seasons in San Antonio, Baines had the opportunity to play for Greg Popovich and learn from a coach with four NBA titles to his name. One of the biggest things from Pop, you know, less is more. It's about working extremely hard when you are working, but at, when you're off the court, you, you're really trying to rest and let your body recover because we play 82 games in a regular season, you know. It's a long, long grind. If you have a good routine and you're consistent with it, that's what leads to greatness. You know, I watched Tim Duncan for three years in San Antonio, and he definitely embraced that. On December 1st, the Celtics would take on one of the up-and-coming teams in their division, the Philadelphia 76ers, and fellow Australian Ben Simmons, who as a 6'10 point guard presents unique challenges for any defense. 
when he can settle in and he gets the same look every time down the floor, he, he's ex been excelling and you can see how good he is. But um, we have the ability to make him take different looks and different defenses from different guys. What do you think of you know, how he's been performing through the first 20 odd games of the season? Oh mate, he's, he's been doing great. Um, you know, they, they put a lot on his plate and um, he's really stepped up to it. Uh, you know, that's a credit to Brownie. Um, you know, I, I was lucky enough to be with Brownie for a good stretch with the Australian team and uh, I've, I'll, I owe a lot to Brownie throughout my career and as to where I am now. So, um, you know, I know that he's going to do the best for Benny and put him in the right situations. And, um, ben, Ben's the type of player that's going to go out there and take it. Uh, you know, he's, he's definitely showing that he can do that and he's proven that he can, he can play with the best of him right now and it's, it's going to be fun watching him uh, mature and just keep getting better every time he steps out on the floor. With nine Australians currently playing in the NBA, the Australian national team will be a formidable opponent for any team looking ahead to the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo as the Boomers look to erase the disappointment of losing the bronze medal game in 2016. There's definitely a sour taste in our mouth, um, you know. It definitely feels unfinished. There's some really great talent in Australian basketball that uh, we just got to incorporate those guys and, you know, they're going to be the leaders for this team going forward. We know that we can um, have the opportunity to go out there and get that medal that we want and um, why not reach for the gold medal. Everyone checks up on games. I try and watch as many games of the other guys as I can and you know it's something that is pretty cool you know you're able to watch your mate play on NBA TV is you know being at the Institute with a bunch of these guys that's something we never thought would actually happen you know we dreamed of it but we never actually thought it would materialize every time we see one another on, on TV playing for the teams that we're playing for it's pretty pretty awesome. An early season game versus the Lakers saw Baines have his best performance in a Celtic uniform, scoring 21 points in the win and appearing live with ESPN's Scott Van Pelt. It's no secret that I don't have a lot of hair. And your setup with the man bun and all, I'm, I'm just mesmerized by it. I just want to know, how do you arrive at deciding this is what the look is that you, where you want to be? How'd that happen? Oh, uh, mate, um, you know, that's, that's one of the shout-outs to my missus uh, for that one. She said she wanted long hair and a beard, and, you know, I like, like the show Vikings, so I told her that's fine, but I'm going to shave the sides. So, um, uh -huh. you know, between us, we kind of came to that agreement, and uh, that's what they say about marriage. It's a whole lot of compromise, so, you know, we found one with the, the, the look that I've got going right now. What does family mean to you? Everything. Um, you know, that's, that's why I do what I do, because it gives me the opportunity to... Um, hang out with them and you know as as busy as we are we we get a lot of downtime that you know when I am home I try and spend as much time with my son and my wife as I can um, it's so much fun for me every time I get that smile from him whatever I can do to get him to smile or just you know a cuddle or a kiss whatever it is that's that's that makes my day that makes makes it worth it for me <laughs> we get out to the museum pretty often actually because my son loves going there so my wife goes there at least tw two times a week I'd say. Um, then the aquarium you know we, we head down there it's just actually right down over there. Basketball is not the most important thing in life and you know when you have a kid you definitely understand that. Brad really is all about family and incorporating family as much as you can because we are away so often. Anytime you can bring the kids into the facility to be with you um, he's all for it and any time on the plane that you want your wife and kids to come with you on a road trip, he's all for it. With the Celtics competing for supremacy in the East, the players understand the added motivation to add another NBA title to the Celtics' legacy. Race the disappointment of losing the bronze medal game in 2016. It's something that everyone here talks about in Boston. You know, everyone's talking about Banner 18 and. We have an empty banner at practice that hangs up there. So every time we walk into the facility, we see what has come before us and you know what is our ultimate goal, which is getting another banner up there. And so it's something that we all see every day and we all take pride in trying to get this program back to there. And we're just thankful that we're a part of such a great program. And um, we're, we're really just enjoying this ride. Anytime I step out on the court, I'm, I'm thankful to be out there and trying to get better, help the team get better, because I know it's not about playing well now, it's about getting, getting right for June, and that's when we want to still be playing.